young African American, or as we called him in those days, Negro president in the South, who was beginning to create a movement based on the nonviolent tenets of Mahatma Gandhi. And he was one of the most eloquent citizens that any of us had ever heard. And he had a great, great moral cause that he was pursuing. And there was already the manifestations of the violence that later came to define that. Moreover, there was something else that was unique. This was playing out on television for the first time, all of us. The campaign, the Cold War, what was going on in the economy, John Kennedy being inaugurated on television. And so all of America was knit together in a way that it had not been before. Wherever you lived in America, the most remote reaches, you could see what was going on in the South. You could see the excitement and the energy that the new president brought to Washington, D.C. You could hear about what was going on with the strike in the steel industry, for example, and, and what, was, what was happening there. So citizenry took on a new form. People were m much closer to the issues and the problems of the day than they had ever been. And that, too, I think, defined was the beginning of the modern age.